Hey everyone, it's Jim Messina. I want to talk about where we're at in this election, but first, I want to let you know that our thoughts and prayers are with all those residents, states, and communities affected by Hurricane Sandy. The Obama campaign is closely monitoring the storm and is taking all necessary actions to make sure our staff, volunteers, and supporters are safe. President Obama's top priority is making sure the federal government is doing everything it can to help state and local officials as they respond. Now to the states. We've been at this for more than 18 months. We've registered millions of new voters. We've opened thousands of field offices and staging locations across all 50 states. And we've had more than 4 million Americans donate to own a piece of this campaign. All of that work has been for one purpose, to put us in the strongest possible position come election day. And you have put Barack Obama in the dominant position in this race. We are head or tied in every single battleground state. That means that Mitt Romney has to win not only all the toss-ups, but also a couple of states where we have a clear lead in order to have any chance of winning the presidency. Don't believe the polls? You don't need to. Early voting has started across the country, so we have actual results to report, and those results show clearly the president will win re-election if we do what we need to do. Voter turnout will reach an all-time high in this election. More than 14.4 million people have already voted, far more than at this point in 2008. Registered Democrats outnumber registered Republicans 44 to 37 among early voters across all states with party registration. And by the same margin in the battleground states that will determine the winner of this election. Now, let's go through the battleground states. We'll start with the great state of Ohio. Early vote turnout in Obama 08 precincts is higher than in GOP precincts. 17% of all voters in Obama 08 precincts are non-midterm voters. We call these sporadic voters, versus only 13% in GOP precincts. We have three and a half times as many local offices as the Romney campaign, and nearly twice as many volunteers as OFA 2008. Iowa. Democrats have a 60,000 early vote lead over Republicans, an even larger vote lead than at this point in 2008. Democrats have outregistered Republicans 7 to 1 in the past three months and will benefit from same day registration. Nevada. Democrats have a 40,000 early vote lead over Republicans. 64% of Nevada early voters are women, youth, African American, or Latinos. Democrats have the largest registration advantage ever in Nevada up 15% compared to 2008. Florida. Democrats now lead in ballots cast just 48 hours after in-person early voting began. In 2008, it took us nearly a week after in-person early voting began before we had a lead. Colorado, the place I was born. In Colorado, 21% of Democrats who have voted so far are sporadic voters compared to just 15% of Republicans. That's a big deal. This means we're doing a better job than Republicans of turning out non-midterm voters. Virginia. Voters in Obama 08 precincts have cast more ballots than voters in GOP precincts. And African American and Latinos have cast 16% of early votes, up from only 9% in 2008. We have twice as many local field offices as the Romney campaign, and nearly twice as many volunteers as we did in 2008. Wisconsin. According to the NBC Wall Street Journal poll, Obama leads Romney by nearly 30 points among voters who have voted early or say they will. 84% of new registrants are women, youth, or minorities. North Carolina. Democrats have a lead of around 300,000 votes in early voting. Democrats have a registration advantage in the state of a little bit over 800,000. And since July, Democrats have outregistered Republicans by 76%. The Obama campaign has collected twice as many voter registration forms in 2012 as we did in 08. New Hampshire. According to the most recent UNH poll, the president leads Romney by 8% in New Hampshire, up from six points just two weeks ago. We have a strong grassroots organization in New Hampshire, with twice as many offices as Romney, and I feel great about what we're doing on the ground. So folks, we're ahead of where we were against John McCain at this point in 2008. And most importantly, we're ahead of Mitt Romney. But we got a lot of work left to do, so I need you to dig deep and give everything you've got for the next week. Keep making those phone calls, keep knocking on the doors, talking to friends in battleground states about the choice in this election. If we do that, we'll hold on to our lead and we'll win this election. Thank you so much for what you're doing.